liquid crystals are materials that um, are, are quite interesting as they exhibit f flow properties. They flow like a normal liquid, but at the same time they show properties of crystals like birefringence, which means that we can see color in, uh, in a polarizing microscope, for example. And that's being used for the display industry then uh, to, to generate the pictures. And uh, they show characteristic features like defects and, and structural uh, signs that we can tell, okay, this is a different liquid crystal phase from another and so on. And that happens to come up as very nice, aesthetically pleasing, um, colored pictures. I'm, I'm not really manipulating um, the liquid crystals that we look at. Um, they're more manipulated in the LC displays because what we're looking at here, for example, in this images are natural textures. They're just liquid crystal between two glass plates and um, these have, have certain defects like, like these guys here that um, we, we use to identify the phases. In a display, the liquid crystals are oriented by uh, surface interactions. So they're filled in very tiny cells, something like this. Um, this is one of our test cells. And um, the, the thickness of, of these liquid crystal layers is, is very thin there, so they get influenced by the surface treatment of the cells. And the thickness is about 5 microns, which is about a tenth of a human hair. And obviously looking at color pictures doesn't help much in that sense, but um, it catches the eye. And people get interested and they ask what that is. And then you can say, well, well that's a liquid crystal. And then they've heard that before. And then you get into talking about liquid crystals and then you can explain the, at least the basics of the easy liquid crystal displays and how they work.